Today I will show you how to make these crazy stretch effects. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. All right, so here I have a clip of Yeet from the How Does He Does It music video. And here we can just start making the effect. This effect is super easy to make. All you need to do is just press Ctrl to Y and add CC scale wipe. And that's basically it. You can just now mess around with the effect. Of course, I'm going to show you way more of this effect, but this is like the basic of it. You can just start messing out like this. Like you can stretch it from this direction. The bigger the stretch, the more it will stretch. I mean, that's kind of obvious, you know? So yeah, that, this could be like a really cool stretch. Don't use it for like the whole, you know, video. Use it for a couple of frames. This is what I really recommend. And this is what I actually do in a lot of my edits. If you know, I have an Instagram where I have this like Osama-san edit. So in this Start of the edit i use this exact effect but i use it for a couple of frames so uh, what you can do is like what i just did you can press ctrl shift d to cut the adjustment layer and delete that go one frame forward press ctrl shift d delete that and basically i recommend having it for either one frame or for a couple of frames so i guess you should maybe have it for a bit more frames so i'm gonna actually make the uh, stretch amount a bit less we can make it go a bit higher like there and what i actually like to do for the start of the clips i actually like to have it for two frames just like this so it will look like that so as you can see that looks kind of cool and it's like a really tiny stretch but you can like uh, you can really mess on a lot here so like you can press ctrl d to duplicate this so because i don't want to make it again you know and here i'm gonna make it to one frame and here you can i guess uh, drag this a bit like in different places you can actually mess around with the center as well so like you can drag this up a bit and it will center out like that and that also looks looks really cool yeah you get an insane effect doing this you can also again press ctrl d and you can choose any directions uh if you actually want you can make the amount at the start like really low maybe like maybe like this uh, you can keyframe it and go to right here uh, stretch this out and then make the stretch kind of higher like maybe this and now it will basically just stretch and make like a little transition like this now and another thing one can do is just grab something from here press ctrl d and make it go up here right here so we can have like a little bit of a different transition another thing you can do is like add invert this will also look really cool so yeah it will have a transition like this uh i don't know if that looks particularly cool on this clip but on some clips this looks really good and yeah you can transition to another clip so we can actually just duplicate this layer that we had so we can press ctrl d make it go up a bit here now actually make it go up a bit here and drag it to heat right here and here you can also have torture frames so you can change the angle a bit here and maybe make the amount a bit less that is quite a lot you can maybe even make it like this another way i like to use this effect is on roto brushed clips so here i have a clip which i actually roto brushed so if you don't know what roto brushing is it's just basically masking out your character there are a bunch of tutorials on youtube on how to roto brush so you can definitely check them out uh, but basically what you do is just you mask out your character so i actually masked out heat here this is my roto brush layer and here you can also add cc scale wipe and here you can make the stretch at the start to like zero and let's go to the ending and here i'm gonna make the stretch to like i don't know 8.5 and this will progressively stretch out like this and here i like to add the effect called colorama now one thing i'll fix is i'll make the direction to 87 here but i'll make the center to like 601 i want to scale that up a bit yeah like right there and now let's go to colorama and go to input phase and here i like to select where it says intensity to saturation it will give like this pixelated effect and now i like to go to output cycle and here i like to make the use preset palette to alpha ramp and you will get this crazy effect and i really like this effect but if you saw in the intro what i actually did is i press ctrl d on this uh, rotobrush layer press ctrl a and delete both of these effects and the effect will now look like this yeah this is the effect that i made in the intro of the video and yeah that's basically it for the scale wipe effect or like the stretch effect there are a couple of different ways to make this but i would also like to let you know that i have been a video editor for around seven years now and i have a video editing website which is called boikas.com where i sell video editing assets such as video editing presets or overlays which i use in basically every single one of my edits a lot of video editors use them as well and it saves a lot of time if you buy anything from the website just know it helps me a lot but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya